Okay, so today we're going to do a little bit of ROM hacking again. So I'm going to, going to use this uh, program called Tile Ed 2002. It's uh, version 0 0.64. And what this does is allow you to edit the sprite data in ROM files. Basically the graphics within the video games. Um, it's a tile editor, and what it does is it loads the ROM information. Basically, I'll go open file, and I already have a ROM open, because I just wanted to see how this program worked. So I'm just going to open up Super Mario Brothers, that ROM. Now, I'm just going to try to do something basic today. I'm going to try to remove the hat from Mario. So this window here, this loads all of the data in the ROM file. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll through this and see if we can find any recognizable graphics. I believe the first half of this is your, oh, there we go, just your program data. You have a program and a character ROM. And when you have a Nintendo ROM, those are merged, those two chips, those two ROMs are merged. So here we can see that looks like Mario's hat. So I'm going to just zoom in here a bit. I'm going to just start. I think you can drag them out. Yeah. You click, and then you click. No, nope, we got to drag it in. And I want to go, and this looks like his bottom half. I'm just going to use the top of his head because that's all we really need. And right here is edit mode, so you can change different things. This color palette here will allow you to shift the colors to change your editing graphics. I'll keep it on that. What I can do is I can go down here I believe and change the color. So I want that background just to be black. You can take these sliders and pull them in the desired direction. I'm just going to set this to black. Push OK. Now I can see Viro is looking a little better. So I can go and change this color if I want. I right click to get this menu. <coughs> Excuse me. see what turns things red. Looks pretty good. I'll come up to darken it maybe. Sure. And this must be Mario's flesh color. So I'm going to right click. Let's try to find something kind of like now it doesn't matter, this, these colors that I'm changing here doesn't change the colors in the game. Just the colors while you're editing. So I'm just going to keep it at this. It looks like it's much easier to look at at this point. I'm just going to come down here and continue trying to find these sprites. Move the cursor so you can double click apparently. Haven't, I haven't used this program much at all. So that looks pretty good. Now we're just going to find the rest in the sequence. So we see that there's a head here. I'm going to click again. I'm just going to go down to the next cell and continue on with the progression. Down to the next one. Continue, continue. Fill in its feet. <clears throat> 
I'm going to pop over to the next block and keep going. Make sure you move your cell down or it'll just keep dropping these into your work area in the wrong spot. Oop. Okay, that looks good. I thought it was off for a minute. We got this one. Uh, this looks like his little skidding action. So yeah, I've just loaded <clears throat> the sprite information for Mario while he is big. It's his walk sequence. It's him skidding. Um, looks like we have some jump data here. I'm just going to keep going and see how this comes out. <clears throat> oh yeah, so this isn't going to work, I don't think. Or is it? Okay, that's correct. It's hard to see because this does not really line up anything for you, so some games will be more difficult. You have to find what sprites go where and you know move them around. I believe this allows you to shift stuff. Yeah, so I can drag stuff around like a puzzle. You just have to put it together. So next up, it looks like we have the shoot, but it probably he probably uses the same top of the head because there's no top of his head for this looks like his ear and his little finger when he like shoots out the fireballs. So I'm going to guess and say it's the this head and then I'm just going to go under here and add in that and that. That looks wrong. I'm just going to finish off the body. It's like his swimming face. So this head it's not right. So I'm going to go here and check this one. That's not correct. Uh, this one. That's perfect. That's much better. All right. So moving on. We have skid. This is nose and jumping. Then we have some kind of body part here, which I think... We'll just figure out the head afterwards. Nope, that's not correct. I can right click, I believe, and that would clear all, select. I don't know how to clear that out, honestly. I don't know if you can. Maybe right over it with some other data. So we need to find these legs for this section. So I'm not sure what that is. We've got his fat little belly in there. That's supposed to go here? No, I got that all messed up. Yeah, you guys can probably see it and I'm just being a jackass. That, that works. That, I believe, is going to go here. So confused. I've got this all messed up. Sorry about the wackiness. I just can't figure out what parts go where. Where? I'm having one of those brain fart things. Okay, I'm going to say that's good enough because I'm not going to edit his body anyway. I just want to remove his hat. So I'm going to go and put this in edit mode, like this. So now I have color selected. And I can like change things. So I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. I want to change this color here.
this black I know will be the background so anything that's black will not be there we'll take all that off and we're gonna give Mario some actually we'll leave him bald on top that sounds about right so let's keep Mario bald Isn't that fun? This would be like the, uh, that looks pretty good. Let me pull this one in. Ah, that's too much. Yeah, I'm tooling around, but you'll get the idea. That's probably fine. Good enough for me. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to take off his hat for starters. Boop, boop. And then color in this. Oh, fleshy like. Maybe just reshape his head a bit because his hat is the baseball cap. It's like a cone head. I'm just gonna cut that off. See if that works. Oh sure, that's fine. I just want to show you the results anyway. Well, we can use our scroll bar to poop over a little bit. Just grab it, and drag it. Continue on. Cut out that. Go all fleshy like. This is time consuming, as you can see, but it's pretty rewarding when you see the results. I will show you that in a moment. I'm going to remove his hat from here. We're going to give ourselves a bald Mario without a hat, which would be pretty fun. <clears throat> it's funky. All right. So see, because we used these in reference to this little swimming and shooting deal, these are the same sprites for this body as it is for this body. So they changed, which is really nice. Continuing on, his arm's going to come up like this because his hat's not going to show, but he is going to have his little head it will come up like this. Cut that out because his hat won't be there. That's more like it. Okay, so I'm done with this. I just want to show you something first. I have my emulator open and ready to go. I'm going to open up our Super Mario Brothers game that we have. I pass the Game Genie, and I just want to show you quick, before I make any save changes here, I oh, get this deal. I'll show you what happens when I get the mushroom classic. So this is what we're used to seeing. Regular old Mario doing his thing. Okay, now I am going to close out the game. Get back to my tile editor, and one of these. They save all tiles to file. Reload tiles. Selected. I know one of these just saves. I think it's this one. So I'm going to go save the selected tile. Or this like save all here somewhere. I'll just go through and do each one. So we got this head, 
whoops, I'm in edit mode still. We don't want to be in edit mode. I'll fix that. Okay, so we got to switch back to this. And then we're going to save to file. We see this changed here. I'm going to save this one and you'll see this change. Yep. Save. I know there's a way to save all of these in one clip, but I'm very new to the program, so sorry about that. I'm just going to do it the way I know how to do it for now. I only use this like twice, so seriously, give me a break. Save. Save this cell. You know, this is totally like just winging it, so. If you have any questions or anything, just, you know, contact me. I'm totally fine with that. I'm just saving out all of these edits. What we see his head looks pretty good all over. So that's fine. So now, we've made those save, those changes. It should be saved to our game now. So I'm going to go and open up our ROM again. And if we're lucky, we'll see our own custom... Super Mario Brothers. So let's see what happens when we get that mushroom. Everything looks normal and dandy. And are we gonna lose our hat? Yep, so there you have it. We have uh, Mario without a hat on. That sounds hilarious. Even his little skid face parts. So yeah, that's the tile editor in a, in a nutshell. But um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, you can make your own customizations to all of your games that you own, obviously. And then uh, once you're done editing on the computer, you can use uh, you know EEPROM programmer to actually save this out to an actual game cartridge. And that's how you get like homebrews and stuff. People uh, doing that, making edits, changing text, changing graphics for an entire game, and then once they're done on the PC, they save it out to a uh, EEPROM, solder it onto a donor board, or buy a, a um, development board for that reason, for that purpose. And, um make their own homebrews. So yeah, I hope you found that somewhat fun. I'll uh, quit here, and uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope it wasn't too boring. Please subscribe. Let me know if there are any other wacky things you'd like me to try. Maybe different games. Maybe give me some type of goal, like putting Mega Man inside of Castlevania, or doing other sprite swaps, or something like that. Well, anyways, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Cheerios!